Hi, everybody. This is Professor Siddharth Krishna here. Today, I'll give you a brief introduction to my research group that works in the areas of heterogeneous catalysis and sustainability. So to motivate my research group's interests, I'll talk about some of the major sustainability challenges we face in this century. As we know, chemical engineering technologies have been very important for developing our standards of living in the last century. And furthermore, catalysis has been central to the production and consumption of both fuels and chemicals. It produces the gasoline that we use in our gas tanks. It produces the ammonia that we use as fertilizer that feeds the world, et cetera. However, we've come to realize that there are many unintended consequences of these technologies. These include contributions to climate change. Here I'm showing increases in global mean surface temperatures as a function of time caused by anthropogenic greenhouse gas emissions. On the right side, I'm showing toxic emissions of NOx compounds from diesel engines that cause tens of thousands of deaths every year. So the goal of my research group is to affect the sustainable production and use of both fuels and chemicals to reduce their impacts on both the environment and human health. Our approach to solve these problems is the mechanistically informed engineering of active sites in heterogeneous catalysts. And we work in a few different application areas that I'll get into shortly. These include producing fuels and chemicals from renewable resources like biomass, emissions control of both greenhouse and toxic gases from automotive sources, and designing environmentally friendly analogs of existing homogeneous uh, catalytic processes. So first I'll talk about our research toolkit that we use to approach all of our different problems in sustainability. Uh, we start with the precise synthesis of catalysts to control the structures of active sites inside those catalysts, as well as their microenvironments. So here I'm showing a porous zeolite framework. Zeolites are porous um, crystalline aluminosilicate materials. So they're made up of silica and alumina. They have well-ordered pores on the nanoscale. And that allows us to control the structures of metal sites inside those zeolites, as well as controlling the diffusion of reactant and product molecules into and out of those pores. So we start with synthesizing materials in, in the lab. Then we characterize the structures of those materials. Uh, we focus on both site titrations, in other words, counting the number of different types of active sites, as well as spectroscopy, trying to understand the chemical and electronic properties of a metal species inside of our catalyst. And here's an example of X-ray absorption spectroscopy taken at a national lab at a synchrotron X-ray source, where we can actually pick out the different oxidation states of our catalyst through these different signatures. We're especially interested in dynamic behavior. This refers to catalysts that change their structure under different conditions. So really our ultimate goal is to use spectroscopy under reaction conditions, which is referred to as operando spectroscopy, to try to tease out what's happening to the catalyst during the reaction. And the third piece of our toolkit is kinetic and mechanistic studies of complex reaction networks. Here's an example showing reaction rate measurements versus the pressure of the reactant gas, which allows us to extract rate constants associated with different uh, rate limiting steps under different regimes. And we can use this set of tools, synthesis, structure, and function to study a variety of different sustainable chemistry problems, as I mentioned, producing fuels and chemicals from renewable resources, pollution control, and green chemistry, uh, broadly speaking. Now I'll briefly touch on some of the projects going on in, in my group. The first area, as I mentioned, is the environmentally replacements for homogeneous catalysts. This is being pursued by my grad student Deepak, as well as undergrad student Andrew. And here we're looking at these homogeneous oxidation processes that use highly corrosive chloride reagents to stabilize these metal cations, M1 and M2 here, uh, that cause a bunch of problems in terms of toxic products, corrosive um, reagents that require uh, special materials of construction of these reactors. So our dream is to design a heterogeneous catalyst that can instead stabilize these metal ions and do the same chemistry as is being done currently in the homogeneous system. The interesting thing about this chemistry is that it involves interactions between these different metal ions. So these are bifunctional catalysts. And so our goal with the solid catalyst is to understand how does the mobility of these different metal sites, for example, copper and palladium sites, affect their ability to carry out this chemistry. The second area we're pursuing is the production of renewable chemicals from biomass using encapsulated nanoparticles. So we're interested in producing high value chemicals from biomass. For example, the polymer precursors shown here, biomass is a, is a renewable and abundant non-fossil carbon source. 
The challenges with this technology are that, number one, it's hard to control the selectivity towards different products, given that these molecules are all fairly complex in their structures. And secondly, it's difficult to stabilize these metal nanoparticles under liquid phase reaction conditions that often cause metal agglomeration, which basically deactivates our catalyst. So our approach here is to try to encapsulate these nanoparticles inside of porous materials, again, zeolites, in order to, first of all, inhibit the agglomeration of these metal nanoparticles, and secondly, control the ways in which molecules bind to the catalyst surface through steric effects in order to control reaction selectivity. And so both of my two newest grad students, Matt and Sarah, are working on this project, as well as two undergrads, Xiu and Mitch. The third area we are pursuing is in mitigating toxic and greenhouse gas emissions using redox chemistries. And so we're trying to eliminate NOx emissions, NO and NO2, from diesel engine exhaust. And this typically uses a copper-based zeolite catalyst to perform selective catalytic reduction reactions, or SCR, before these emissions leave a diesel engine's tailpipe. The problem is that these technologies actually produce nitrous oxide, or N2O, which is a very potent greenhouse gas. As shown here, it's going to be the third worst greenhouse gas in uh, the coming century. And so our goal is to redesign this catalyst to understand how to eliminate nitrous oxide uh, using catalysis, and really by trying to understand the redox cycles involved in uh, this chemistry. And so Libby is working on this project, one of my second year grad students, as well as Vaishnav, who's an undergrad. So that ends this brief summary of the research areas in my group. Feel free to check out our website here, which has much more detail about these projects and our research interests, as well as publications. And also feel free to email me at my email listed here if you're interested in discussing further. Thanks.